Welcome to Senior High School Math Series. Let us have graphing exponential functions under General Mathematics Quarter 1, Week 6 based on Curriculum Implementation and Learning Management Matrix for K-12's Most Essential Learning Competencies. Here's our learning competencies. Represent an exponential function through its table of values graph and equation find the domain and range of exponential function determine the intercepts zeros and asymptotes of exponential function before we continue let us ponder on this technology has advanced more in the last 30 years than in the previous 2000 the exponential increase will only continue this is by Niels Bohr Okay, let us start with uh, properties of exponential functions. For exponential function, the domain is the set of all real numbers. The range is the set of all positive real numbers. It is a one-to-one -one function. The y-intercept is 1 and there is no x-intercept. The horizontal asymptote is the line y equals 0, and there is no vertical asymptote. The function is increasing if b is greater than 1, and is decreasing if b is between 0 and 1. To graph exponential functions, we follow the following steps. Create a table of values using the given function. Plot the points on a rectangular coordinate system. And connect the points using a smooth curve. So let us proceed to some examples. Example number one. Sketch the graph of f of x is equal to 3 raised to x. So we follow the steps in the previous slide. We create a table of values. We do that by assigning values for x and solve for the corresponding values for f of x. Now when we assign values for x, we can use any value or any x coordinate in the rectangular coordinate system, but the most convenient uh, values for x would be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So, we solve for f of x. If x is negative 2, substitute negative 2 to x in f of x. That will be 3 raised to negative 2. And by rule of exponent, that will be 1 third raised to 2. And that is 1 over 9. Next, when x is negative 1, so that will be 3 raised to negative 1, and by rule of exponent, that will be 1 third for f of x. If x is equal to 0, so we will have f of 0 is equal to 3 raised to 0. Any number raised to 0 except 0 is equal to 1. Next, when x equals 1, so that will be f of 1 is equal to 3 raised to 1. And 3 raised to 1 is 3. Next, when x equals 2, so we have f of 2 is equal to 3 raised to 2. That will be 9. Now that we have the table of values, we're going to plot these points on a rectangular coordinate system. So the first point is at negative 2, 1 ninth. We need to estimate where 1 ninth is on the Y axis. Next, negative 1, 1 third. So that will be a little higher than 1 ninth. Next is at 0, 1. Next point is 1, 3. And then the other point is 2, 9. 
So our rectangular coordinate system cannot have two nines anymore. So we need to estimate on that point. Next step is to connect these points using a smooth curve. So we plot the graph of f of x is equal to 3 raised to x. Connecting these points using a smooth curve, then we have the graph of f of x is equal to 3 raised to x. Now having this graph, let us recall the properties of the exponential function. First, we have the domain is the set of all real numbers. Notice that for all real values of x, there is a point on the graph as shown by the arrows on the two ends of the graph. So the domain is the set of all real numbers. Next, we have the range is the set of all positive real numbers. Notice on the graph that there is no point on the graph of the exponential function for which the value of y is zero or negative. So that means the range is the set of all positive real numbers. Next property, it is a one-to-one -one function. So being a function, it is a one-to-one -one function. Recall how we test the function as one-to-one, -one, we do the horizontal line test. So whenever we draw a horizontal line, it will touch the graph at a single point. So that means this is a one-to-one -one function. Next, the y-intercept is 1. So notice that the graph touches the point zero, 1 on the y-axis. That means the y-intercept is 1. Notice that the graph does not intersect the x-axis, so that means there is no x-intercept. Next, the horizontal asymptote is the line y equals 0. And since the graph does not touch the x-axis, that means the horizontal asymptote is the line y equals 0 or it is the x-axis. And there is no vertical asymptote. The function is increasing if b is greater than 1. So the base in our exponential function is 3 that is greater than 1. Therefore, as x increases, the value of f of x also increases. Okay, let us have example number 2. Sketch the graph of f of x is equal to 1 half raised to x. So let us create the table of values. We're going to use negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 still for the values of x and then solve for f of x. So when x is negative 2, f of negative 2 will have 1 half raised to negative 2. So by rule of exponent, we get the reciprocal of 1 half that will be 2 raised to 2. The exponent becomes positive. So that will be 2 raised to 2 equal to 4. f of negative 1, we have 1 half raised to negative 1 and that will be 2 f of 0 when any number raised to 0 except 0 is equal to 1 f of 1 it will be 1 half f of 2 is 1 half times 1 half 1 4 then let us plot these points on the rectangular coordinate system we'll have negative 2 4 negative 1 2 0 1 1 1 half 2 1 4 and the last step is to connect these points using a smooth curve. So we have the graph of f of x is equal to 1 half raised to x. Now all the properties of exponential function still holds on this graph. 
The difference with the first example is that the base of this exponential function is between 0 and 1, that is 1 half. So, we know that when b is between 0 and 1, the function is decreasing. So, as the value of x increases, the value of f of x decreases until it approaches 0. That is all for exercises on this topic. You may download from the link given on the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more math lessons.